Oh wait, it's recording right now. We're recording, man. We're already live. Okay, let's restart. May as well. Um, but it all started with being outbound. I think, you know, building building relationships, especially when it comes down to an early stage marketing or an early stage startup itself is that you're going to have to actually reach out to people uh, and not actually have that notion of expecting people to come to you, especially when you don't have too much to offer yet. Right. Um, so right. that with that in mind, it was just kind of going through those networking phases, uh, then understanding with enough word of mouth and outbound marketing and building relationships that word does spread within target markets in your niche. Um, so that, that's kind of how I ultimately big picture long term strategy hit 830 users. Again, there's still so much to work towards, you know, it's still under a grand. Um, but, you know, I'm still trying to progress there. And it's just a great learning experience so far. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it seems like outbound is, you know, it seems like outbounds being more and more replaced by inbound marketing strategies. Mm. Right? It seems like a lot of companies are spending a lot more effort trying to get people that are already looking for their products. I know I'm bombarded all the time by people trying to sell things. People, mm. I, I have, I, I have, you know, offshore developers selling me this. I have digital marketers sending yep. like that. A lot of them are good services. And a lot of these emails are well structured, I think. Yeah. But Problem is, I think that the way people are buying is really changing, right? Unless totally you know somebody, unless you already have that influence. Like, if I need somebody, they're probably a either already in my network, or yep. b I'm going to trust a Google search more than I'm going to trust the random person that's inquiring. But I think there's a time and a place for it. Maybe it's yep. right in the early days when you're doing something new. So, how receptive were people when you were reaching out? With some of these totally cool so that's a great thing to say too right because depending on your target market i see you know cold emailing cold emails being a great resource right so like you know those offshore agencies probably reached you through linkedin or, or email right yep exactly totally and for my for my market and my customers right now most of them are clothing resellers and just from my experimentation here um, there's a lot of places I could I could have found their emails, but what I found the best was just through Instagram. Um, and what I really do is I post daily content on Instagram, mostly just memes, educational and informational content. Uh, but throughout those processes, I also follow people in my niche, right? And throughout, if I follow enough people, the people in my niche are also going to follow back. Uh, looking at my content, they know it relates to them. Uh, and from there, I, I consider a bit a consider it a bit warmer than it is just me outbound DMing, right? So I build some content, I build a relationship. And then what I usually do is I actually send a personalized Instagram video to them. Um, so what I say is I, you know, you know, I take a look at their profile. I take a look at what they sell. I take a look at the stores they sell on and the marketplaces they're on. And I take all of that data, right? And I'll say something along the lines of, you know, Hey, Vanessa, my name is Kaido founder spread building a cross listing software that's currently in beta. I uh, would love to learn a bit more about your selling processes if you're up for a 15 minute Instagram video DM, right? And those responses sometimes don't even get a response, but I'd like to say that in many cases, it's a lot warmer than a cold email. Uh, so that's kind of the process I've been doing in terms of the outbound aspect so far. Yeah, it sounds like a warm, cold email, right? It sounds like you it sounds like you're putting yourself in a spot where you have a good excuse for reaching mm -hmm. out to someone, right? You're not just yeah. messaging anybody. And I've tried to do the exact same thing. When I'm messaging somebody, I'm letting them know specifically why I'm messaging them, why mm -hmm. I think they will be interested. Instead of just saying, hey, I understand that you're a human or hey, I yeah. understand that you're in the clothing space. It's better if you have this touch point. So I guess you're contacting people that are already following your page. You're exactly. And I take a couple days to actually even reach out um, because I think, I think content's a great way to build indirect relationships. And let me kind of build on that, right? So if you've been following me or if I've been following you for a month but never knew you, right? I, and you still post value added content to me, when you reach out, I'm gonna be a lot more open towards you reaching out because initially and subconsciously, you've already provided value to me, right? Um, I've seen some of your content and, and I knew you before, but if I didn't know you and you posted these first customer club interviews and these podcasts, uh, and I did definitely did check a lot of them out. Right. And if you reached out to me after, uh, I'd be a lot more willing and open. And that's kind of the same 
I'd say parallel when I post content for resellers on my Instagram page. Um, but I think being outbound at the beginning is very useful because you're actually going to be able to talk to them and know what their pain points are. Uh, and by utilizing that, those types of data points, you're then able to create actual effective inbound content, right? So we'll see. Yeah, one kind of feeds the other one, right, Kaido? Like exactly. if you do if you do outbound at the beginning, maybe you have to spend zero dollars to do it, right? You find yeah. a few people. They could be your prospective customers, they could be just people that understand your target market. Totally. You get their feedback. Then you put that into the ad engine, right? Then you create yes. your ad sets, you create your campaigns, you spend your five bucks a day. Then you exactly. take what you learn from there, and then you use what you learn to create more organic content yeah exactly like that which feeds more outbound right so maybe yeah. maybe i'm being too hard on outbound i just see it no it's a total there. cycle too you're right though yeah yeah that's fascinating to see um so it's it's learning what is good content and the faster you figure out mm -hmm. what people are clicking on the yeah. faster you can figure out how to optimize your page optimize your pitch yeah, you know figure out who to hire and what kind of position. So I guess it's all a big snowball, right? I think going outbound at the beginning is definitely something you ought to do, right? Like, let's just say I have a site up. Um, I don't know. I'll give an example, like whatever it is, like lemon, um, lemonbottles.com, right? Like, although that might be searched on, on Google search, like your website's definitely not showing up. Um, right. especially if you had it up yesterday, right? So the only way you're going to be able to get people to show up and talk about it and build kind of that, that ability to actually have people visiting your site is actually by reaching out. I think that's the, the one thing you can't wait, especially when you have an idea. Um, when you have an idea, even if it's just a landing page, you can't wait for people to come to get it. Yeah. Right? And SEO is a long game, right? So you can't, yep. you can't play the long game at the beginning. You yeah. want towards having an SEO ranking, but that's where you're yeah. saying early days, reach out to get the first bunch of people interested. Hey, eh? exactly. And then you're going to be able to learn and actually build great content from there. Right. I think, I think, um, just uh, in no way is my blog the best in that sense, but I've been building and, and still thinking of content that I can build. And that only comes when I actually speak to resellers, um, that, that those types of ideas only kind of surface when I think of a reseller conversation and notice, Hey, this is a great conversation to have.